Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen cooking it up. And as y'all can see, I'm jumping right into it today. Jumping right into it. That's what I've been doing lately, jumping right into it. Getting you in and out of the kitchen. Today, I've got some drumsticks over here. Let me show you guys. And y'all already know, pre-season, been marinating overnight. Look at all that goodness on the chicken. All that goodness, oh yeah. Gonna make some barbecue uh, drumsticks. And I've got these little quick nors. Um, they are the butter and herb. It's like a little pasta. It says here, uh, fettuccine and a delicate butter flavor herb sauce. Yes. Something quick and easy. Throw it in some hot water and that's it. Put a little oil or butter. That's it. Quick and easy. So I've already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put these drumsticks, line them up in my pan. Squeeze them all in here. They should all be able to fit. Yes, barbecue chicken. Where's my barbecue sauce at? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna be using the Kraft Original uh, Sauce. Kraft Original Barbecue Sauce. I love Kraft. Kraft tastes so good to me. I mean, of course there's other barbecue sauces, but Kraft is, de is definitely one of my favorites. The Kraft Barbecue Sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze all this chicken in here. We are gonna have to squeeze it in here, so. I should be able to. I like putting my chicken down like this so it can all squeeze in this pan. Well, this dish. Let me turn this around. I like putting the, um, you know, the fat part down with my drumsticks. I don't know now. We're going to be able to squeeze all this chicken in here. We're going to have to make it do what it do now. Alright, let's see. Lord, I got two more pieces of chicken. Okay. I should be able to fit it all in here. We squeezing it, but it's going to shrink when it starts cooking anyway. Alright, yep. Okay, we got everybody in there. That's good. Alright, now all my little seasons I got left in here, I'm going to add a little water and I'm going to pour that in the bottom of our dish. All right, I'm going to mix this around. Make sure I get all my seasons on the side. All of the seasons on the side. And I'm going to pour that water right in the middle there. And this water will create some steam to help the chicken cook. Just a little water at the bottom. Now you can cover this if you want. I'm not covering it. I'm not covering my chicken. I don't want to cover it. I think it cooks faster. I think it cooks faster without covering it. Um, it's drumsticks. I mean, so you can cover it, you know, to help your meat be juicy, but it's drumsticks. They're going to be juicy anyway. So I'm also going to spray the top of my drumsticks. I did spray the bottom of my ceramic dish. My Pioneer Woman. Y'all know I love me some Pioneer Woman. <clears throat> Got my Publix canola oil spray sprayed across the top. That's going to help it brown. I like to cook my chicken first, get it all brown. Some people put the barbecue sauce on their chicken while it's cooking. I like to cook my chicken, make sure it's all nice, juicy, and brown, and well done. I like the hand movement. And um, <clears throat> and then after it's cooked and everything, I'll throw my barbecue sauce on it. And then I'll put it back in the oven and let it get it all roasted and toasted. Y'all will see how I do it. But this is a quick, easy meal. Um, barbecue chicken, and we've got our pasta over here. Our butter herb flavored pasta. Quick, easy meal, y'all. Quick, easy meal. Uh, 350 degrees for the chicken. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to say about 30 minutes. These little drumsticks. 30 minutes should get them nice and brown and toasty. And then I'll throw the barbecue sauce back on. And I'll put it back in for about 5 minutes. Maybe 10. I might do 10 just so, you know, it gets all nice and golden. So, alright. Let me go ahead and get this in the oven, guys. And I'll be back uh, to show y'all me cooking that pasta real quick. Okay guys, we're getting into this pasta, quick and easy. Our instructions, two cups of water. I'm doing two packs, so of course I did four cups of water. Let me cut my heat down. Stir in our packets to some boiling water with um, two tablespoons of oil. Well, one tablespoon, but I did two because I'm doing two packets of this. All right, anyway, stir them into our boiling water. Cut the heat down, 
cover it up and let it simmer. All right, I'm gonna stir that in real good. I put a little salt in there for flavor. I mean, cause sometimes these Nor packets need a little help. I've had them before. Of course we've had them, so. When you cook stuff after a while, you know what needs help, what needs a little season, what don't need to be seasoned and all that other good stuff. All right, I've reduced my heat. I've covered it up. We're gonna let that simmer, simmer, simmer. Our chicken is in the oven. While chicken is cooking, the noodles are cooking. The noodles are going to be done quick, done about five minutes. So, And we've got about 18, 17 minutes left on that baked chicken. So that should be coming out soon. Uh, yeah, we're getting it done. And let me give y'all that word of the day because y'all know I always got a word in my spirit. Always something when I wake up in the morning talk to God, something he always talking to me about. And when I woke up this morning, uh, God was talking to me about how can I explain it to y'all? Because what God talked to me about, you know, I try to change it, convert it over, you know, so y'all can understand it, you know, towards y'all. How he makes it personal for me. And God said to me this morning when I woke up, he was talking to me about the dreams I had. Because God deals with me in my dreams. God showed me some of my dreams. That's just a gift from God. Thank God. Um, but God was dealing with me about allowing people to help. We have to be able to accept help. There's nothing wrong with accepting help. I know we got our pride. God knows. I went through that. I'm telling you, I had some pride out of this world. Pride out of this world. You hear me? Don't be afraid of having somebody help you. That's the word of the day. Don't be afraid of help. Now, you know, that's that good help. And there's that trying to be in your business kind of help. Y'all know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's the word of the day. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to accept help. Somebody come to you and say, hey, let me, you need help, let me help you out, you know? Don't be afraid to accept help. Don't have that pride where you don't want to accept nobody help. Because I'm telling you, pride cometh before the fall, and that's Bible. I know. Jesus, God knows I know about that pride. So I can speak about it, because I know about it. All right, y'all, don't get me all worked up. Make sure y'all watching my spiritual journey videos, that episodes. Oh, man, I don't know what episode we on now. Probably seven or eight, nine. I don't know, y'all. But I don't even know what I'm going to schedule this video. My schedule so far ahead. But all right, y'all, let me go. And I'll be back to show y'all uh, the chicken when I pull out the oven and I just pour my barbecue sauce. I'll be back to show y'all that because I don't want to make this a long video. All right, I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, we are back to my baked chicken I just took it out of the oven as you guys can see it is nice and golden brown let me zoom you guys out gonna go ahead and take my craft barbecue sauce nothing fancy just gonna spread it all over my chicken nothing fancy I just pour it all over the chicken I'm telling you it's something about that craft barbecue sauce of course, you know we got the old school barbecue sauces. I'm just saying, for a little quick meal. Craft barbecue sauce is definitely my go-to. I love their flavors. I mean, ain't like I'm out cooking on the grill. Now, that's a different kind of barbecue sauce for that. All right. That was good. Just a little half a bottle, actually. A little over half a bottle of craft barbecue sauce I had left over. All right, y'all see I'm zooming y'all in. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all know that look good. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it back in the oven for about five minutes. Um, and I'll be back with the grand finale. Okay, guys, we are back for the grand finale. Let me take you guys over to that pasta real quick. Quick and easy uh, garlic herb pasta. Done in like, that pasta was done in like five minutes. We've had it before. It's really good. Gives you that garlic herb kind of flavor. They've got different ones. Nor's uh, is a really nice line, and they're not that expensive either. All right, and over here to the main course, our barbecue, le chicken of le barbecue. All right, and as you guys can see, it's looking delicious. I put it back in the oven for about five minutes, and that's it, y'all. Let me bring y'all out, make sure y'all can see all of the barbecue chicken, and then zoom y'all in. All right, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.